Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm gonna show you five anti forensics techniques to secure your personal data. So first of all, I'll open a note notepad document which is on my drive. So I have already saved it with my student ID in it. Save it again with my student ID. Yeah. So I'll op I'm gonna open it with pin hex. I'm gonna open it with hit with pin hex and I'll put my favorite movie title on it and save it on the save on the same file again. Yep, replace it. So I'm gonna check. So again, if I'm going to check, so it's still showing my student ID number, not the movie title. So, so you can understand, we can hide something in the notepad with WinHex. And my next step is deleting a file. For deleting a file, I have choose a software from the internet. It's Remo File Eraser. So you can erase it securely. So this is how I'm gonna erase it. should be yeah won't be long yep it's now been deleted securely so for then as the next step i'll choose steganography to hide some text in inside a photo to do that process i have chosen the silent eye software so i'm gonna drag an image to the software and then code it write something whatever you need and you can hide this text inside it so the destination folder is in your folder too yeah so it won't be long no i think it's been encoded onto new folder too yeah, so I'll close it now. So if I drag it to the silent eye again, I can decode it so that I should be able to see the text which I typed before like write something here so that's my that that was my process and the next process is misdirection of a file so if there's any file like a jpg if I rename it as dot doc it should be opened by word document so so anyone cannot be able to open it as a picture so no one will be able to see that this is a picture so they think it will be a it's a word document so that's the way how i misdirect a file so the next step is hiding an image so image or even any other file so i'm i think i'm gonna hide this new folder uh yeah i'll hide it from here Hide selected items. So it's been hided. So if I need to look at them again, show hidden files, you should be able to open it. So yeah, that's it for today. Like I have showed you like five digital and chip for a six techniques to hide secure personal data. Thank you so much for watching. My student ID number is S144-5786. Thank you so much.